I'm Ron Cook, I'm running back, and this is my UB football story. To Cook, right side, got a hole at the 50, at the 40, there he goes! Ron Cook is going to whip up a Buffalo touchdown! Um, I'm from Washington, D.C. Um, I grew up in mainly in the Temple Hills area. That's probably around like Maryland. So back in back home for me in DMV area is very, very, very competitive. And everybody seems like they have a competitive nature no matter how good, how bad they are. So it's like you go out there, it's like no matter what, you have to fight. And it's just like you grow up fighting. And it's just like it's so fun because, you know, it's like it's never going to be a dull moment. So in high school, back where I was from, it was like I was playing against the best against the best, and it prepared me for what I'm doing now. I started playing football around like uh, seven years old. Um, I didn't really see anybody in my family like play football, and like it like didn't make me really want to. I just like I watched it over and over again, like on the TV. And I just became more interested the more I just continued to watch. And I think a guy that literally inspired me like for the rest of my life was Ladanian Tomlinson. The way he just could move in such small areas and how he has lightning quick speed. And it's just like, it reminded me too much of myself. You know, I was a young guy. It's still, I feel like I can see myself doing that one day. In high school, I originally started at receiver, slot receiver, but I started running back went down in one of the biggest games of my career. And I had to go in and feel for him and I had to stop playing receiver before that game. I had to go play running back and start. I ended up scoring three touchdowns to beat a team that we haven't beat in over 24 years. And it just showed me that like anything that could be put on my plate, I know I can handle it no matter what the circumstance or the situation. And it showed me that I can really just you know, lock in and make anything happen any possible way. Swings it to Cook on the right side, turns the corner at the 10, at the five for the pylon. Touchdown! So what attracted me to UB is the, it felt like home. Like when I first stepped on campus and a lot of the players at the time, they, they welcomed me in with open arms. And I knew a few guys that were also from the Maryland DC area. and. Uh, they were really like they were telling me and trying to convince me like bro this is this is where you want to be it's like it's it's fun it's, it's a lot of hard work but you're gonna love doing it so early in my career here at UB when I was a freshman and it was a few people down my freshman year at receiver so I had to go start for a few games and then one game that I played and I had a specific play that was just for me when I went in I made this play I got literally hit stick by the safety that was a senior. And I got up and I felt like it was nothing. I felt like it was a normal day, a normal play for me. I could hear the crowd cheering. I could hear my teammates like patting my head and stuff. Like it felt like nobody expected me to make that play. And when I did it, I felt like I proved myself. So my role in this team is pretty much just enhanced like a lot because it's like I have a lot of responsibility. Now I'm one of the older guys, so now I'm I'm no longer the guy getting looked after. I'm looking after everybody else. So and it's like people come to me for questions. So now I'm the one that has to have the answers. And it's uh it's a lot. It's a lot to take on, but it's a challenge, and I like challenges. Coach Mo, he's a he's a great guy. Honestly, he's always got a smile on his face. He's always walking around with this certain aura that you can you know any anytime he's around, you know you can feel his presence. You know, for me, that's that's all I ever wanted in a coach. You know, somebody that wants to literally wants nothing but the best for you, no matter what. And he's the type of guy that they brought in here, and I love him. So I do believe that when my football days are over. I believe one day I will go into coaching, you know. Every time we have these camps up here, I just I feel natural when, when I'm out there just trying to help kids, you know, teach them everything that I know. My goals for the upcoming season is to lead this team to a MAC championship. I feel like we're all going to show a lot of people out there what we're made of. Show everybody this shirt right here. Buffalo versus everyone. That's what we're coming with this year. And we're showing everybody that no matter who's in front of us, no matter what's in our way, we're going to knock it down and keep pushing forward. We're going to take game by game, you know, play our hearts out, play with each other, play as one.